On February 9, that is Thursday, almost a week ago, the Geological Survey of India has found 5.9 million tons of lithium reserves in Riyasi district of Jammu and Kashmir. Let me show you on the map. Here is the Riyasi district. River Chenna flows here. Now this area is a hilly region and the hills over here are called foothills of Himalayas that is Shivalik range that means usually the hills over here are covered in green but then during winter for a couple of months you will find snowfall now the indian government has found lithium reserves in this area and that to some 5.9 million tons of lithium reserve now 5.9 million tons is a lot just to give you some perspective 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs 1 with 6 zeros Now six million is equal to sixty lakhs. Six with six zeros. So six million tons is equal to sixty lakhs ton. The weight of one Arjun MK one A tank is somewhere around sixty eight tons. Sixty lakh ton divided by sixty eight tons is equal to eighty eight thousand two hundred and thirty five. That means if we extract all the lithium reserve that exist in this region, we can make eighty eight thousand two hundred and thirty five Arjun MK one A tanks of pure lithium metal. I think that is more than total number of tanks of every country in this world. Now let's learn something about this metal lithium. If you look at the periodic table, you will find it in the second row with symbol Li and atomic number three. It is a soft silver-looking white metal that belongs to the alkali metal group of elements. Basically, all the elements in the first column except hydrogen is part of the alkaline metal group. The term alkali is used to describe any chemical compound or element with high pH value that is greater than 7. If you look at the pH scale it is from 0 to 14. 7 is neutral. Anything that is greater than 7 indicates a base and anything less than 7 is acidic. So basically all these elements such as lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium these metals are highly reactive and easily lose their outermost electron to form positive ions making them good conductors of electricity. They are also very soft and they can be easily cut with a knife. Now as you may know lithium is commonly used in batteries such as those used in laptops, smartphones and electric vehicles due to its high energy density and long life when compared to the old lead acid batteries. Now let me tell you some advantages of lithium ion batteries. Number 1 due to high energy density and long life, lithium ion batteries can store more energy per unit of weight or volume. This makes them much lighter and more compact than lead acid batteries which is important for applications such as electric vehicles. Number 2 lithium ion batteries typically last longer than lead acid batteries because they can undergo more charge and discharge cycles without degrading. Number 3 lithium ion batteries can also be charged much more quickly than lead acid batteries. Fast charging is the need of the hour. Number 4 unlike lead acid batteries lithium ion batteries do not require maintenance. You don't have to put distilled water or cleaning of terminals. And finally lithium ion batteries are generally considered more environmental friendly because they do not contain toxic lead or acid. And if you look at the other side there are two main disadvantages of lithium ion batteries. One is the cost they are expensive and the second one is due to overheating lithium battery have the risk of exploding. So anyhow these are the advantages of lithium. and it is precisely because of its usage the discovery of this huge lithium reserve is a big deal for bharat and then you must have also heard from the government regarding the push for electric vehicle industry so because of that this element lithium has become very precious currently india is import dependent for lithium at present india imports almost 70% of its lithium ion cell batteries from china and hong kong and then lithium in pure element form is majorly imported from australia and south american countries like argentina bolivia and chile now in order to become self reliant atmanirbhar it is very important for bharat to discover critical minerals inside its own geographical territory and not only just extraction bharat also has to process it on its own and not be dependent on any other country at present majority of the world's lithium is produced from brines basically if you look at a salt lake due to evaporation you will find various types of salt including sodium chloride that we consume then magnesium chloride potassium chloride and lithium chloride these natural salt are also found in underground water table and ocean water so basically you will find natural salt which is trapped in different layers of land in geology it is called brines from these brines lithium is extracted at present majority of world's lithium is produced from brines that exist in the regions of south american countries like argentina bolivia and chile these three countries form the lithium triangle 
they hold over half of the world's known lithium reserves and let me tell you again these three countries they extract lithium from salt water pond and underground water table by first pumping the water out and then making soil or land dry so that after evaporation of water they can extract lithium salts so if you see it takes several months for wind and sun to evaporate the water and this method of extraction is not sustainable similarly if you look at australia and canada in these countries lithium is extracted from hard rock mines so basically you have to crush igneous and sedimentary rocks and then you have to melt them and process them with chemical only then you will be able to separate the lithium metal look at the picture of the mines so if you see the extraction of lithium can be challenging process depending on the source of the lithium and it is also not that environmental friendly currently if you look at the world's largest lithium reserves here is the chart now the recent discovery of lithium reserve in jammu and kashmir has put bharat now at fifth spot just ahead of the united states now another interesting point that happened is united states assistant secretary of energy resources jeffrey payet had visited india on february 13th although i'm not saying that his visit to india is basically of this lithium reserve that was discovered on february 9th i'm not saying that but then we cannot deny the fact that he is aware of this news and i'm sure united states has began talks with india regarding this newly found lithium reserve let me tell you something about this person jeffrey payet he was the ambassador of ukraine during the 2014 euromaidan movement and by the way it is no more a hidden secret the 2014 ukraine coup was sponsored by united states us ambassador victoria nuland's phone was tapped where it was revealed that she made a call to the us ambassador to ukraine jeffrey payet regarding cia's interference in ukrainian coup as well as making up the next ukrainian government plus at that time joe biden was the vice president so united states has sent this person to bharat and everyone in bharat knows that united states uses pakistan against india whenever they need it and now this reserve was found in jammu and kashmir i'm pretty sure at the time of forming policies regarding lithium extraction if it all that policy of the indian government contains something that is not in united states interests then mark my words united states will use pakistan for creating obstacles this will definitely happen anyhow let me show you on the map again where the lithium reserves have been found so this is the region as you can see the chenab river flows in this region plus this region is hilly so both the existence of sedimentary and igneous rock is quite natural in this region If you have read about the origins of Himalayan mountains you will realize that the process by which Himalayan mountains were formed it is very natural that these regions will have huge amount of rich minerals now the main question comes how you will extract it and when i say extraction it is important to know it has to be done in a very environmentally responsible manner because already these Himalayan regions are categorized under zone 4 and 5 which is a high risk zone for earthquakes if you have seen my video on joshi mat In that I have explained in detail how heavy machineries like cranes and diggers are often used for construction and digging and that creates vibrations and these vibrations cause tremors inside the land surface and that also makes the underground soil move towards already existing cracks and that causes soil displacement followed by landslide on the surface as I've already said there are two methods currently being used to extract lithium one is through brines and the other one is through mining rocks The first method that is brines has more chances of depleting as well as polluting the underground water. It is a fact that lithium extraction requires vast amount of water. Many South American communities is facing water shortage. Now this is an issue. On one hand lithium mining has become a boom industry because this metal is needed in electric car battery and many other technology that we use in our day to day life. But on the other hand lithium mining requires huge amount of ground water to be pumped out because after drying the ground water they can extract lithium salt. So for this you need to drill many bores and pump out million liters of ground water. And the other method is mining. For that you also have to dig deep mines, extract igneous and sedimentary rocks and then crush them, melt them and then separate lithium metal. Mining is also of two types. One is open cast mining where we use dynamite to blow up the entire land. and the other one is underground mining basically how coal is extracted so that is why i strongly believe that the ev industry that is electric vehicle industry although it is marketed as a clean energy environmental friendly but in reality it is not especially this clean energy concept is a western idea it is part of the us democrats political portfolio as well as european union's global agenda in fact you will see that everything related to renewable energy policies directives rules 
everything comes from United States or European Union. If you read the media note of the US Department of State, just read here. Assistant Secretary will further cooperate on the clean energy transition, energy security and energy access across South Asia. And then read this line. In Mumbai, Assistant Secretary Payet will meet private sector leaders to foster the deployment of renewable energy sources. Then speak to entrepreneurs and students at the College of Engineering, Pune. When you read all of this, doesn't it sound fishy? It is like United States is sending a representative who will make sure that the US interest and policies are being implemented smoothly in India. All the direction regarding clean energy is coming from the West. And if you see, that is actually not a good sign. And now that Bharat has found this massive lithium reserve, which puts Bharat ahead of United States, we will definitely get to see direct as well as indirect American influence. So this is the geopolitical angle. But apart from the geopolitical angle, any kind of development will definitely come with a cost. While it is a good news that Bharat has discovered its own lithium reserve, at the same time the extraction of the metal is actually complex and has to be conducted sustainably. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.